Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Arkham Horror A Deal With The Devil Turn 12. Well, we're doing okay. After a few ropey turns, you know, from about turn 5 to about turn 10, we've turned it around a little bit. We've got three seals and we've got two people coming out of an other world this turn so a possibility of another two seals so could really be going in our favor so let's get across to the upkeep phase and have a look at the investigators our first investigator this turn will be sister mary and here we are with sister mary just before we get cracking just going to have a quick chat about the channel. Now, I've mentioned it several times, but it always does well to, you know, remind everybody every now and again. All I do is playthroughs. That's why I play the same old tap all the time. <laughs> you get the odd new game, but generally, you know, I, I, I'm just playing for chuckles. That's all I do. Um, I don't do tutorials. I don't do reviews. I don't do anything like that. Consequently... Um, as I've mentioned before, I don't always play optimally. Um, I play for fun, for chuckles. I try to win, because winning's fun. Everybody enjoys winning. It's great. But occasionally I will do some things that are not optimal. This turn is going to be one of those. I've just decided like to do something a bit left field, because I think it'll be exciting and it'll be fun. Anybody watching this game for tactics or strategy tips for playing Arkham Horror, ignore this turn. Because I'm just going to be a bit zany and I'm going to do something because I just fancy doing it. So that is just to let everybody know why I'm doing it. As I say, I'm just playing the game for laughs and I think it'll be very exciting to play it this way. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's get back to Sister Mary and go through exactly what I'm going to do. Well, Sister Mary, she's now at the Merchant District Streets. Now, she's got one focus. We may as well start moving a speed up now. She's got away from the monsters for the time being, so she's going to move a speed up to two. She only needs two speeds, so with Richard Upton, I've got no shirt on. She's got plenty of movement to get up to the train station where she's going to try and get that ally. So that's all she's going to do. Obviously, in addition to that, We've got to roll for her blessing again. Hopefully she won't roll a one again. Come on. She rolls a three, so that's fine. She keeps a blessing. So, brilliant. She's on her way up to the train station. Next up, we have Akachi on Yelly. And here is Akachi. She's got $10. She's got a bank loan. She doesn't have to roll for her bank loan this turn. But we'll put the die on. Just to remind us for next turn. Right, so what's Akachi going to do? Akachi's going to do what I flashed up last turn. As I say, this is just for chuckles. Yeah? Um, there's a chance we can do it. There's a good chance we can do it. Well, there's not a good chance, but there is a chance we could do it. And especially, I'm also planning to get a blessed at some point. So, let's do it. Let's send her into the unnameable and into Relay. We'll send her in there, she'll go through the other world, then when she's just about to come out, we're going to trigger her Soul Pact. We are going to get six Power Tokens that can be used as Clue Tokens because she's got a Bound Ally in Billy Brinton. And she's got a Law of Five, so hopefully she'll have five Blessed Dice plus six Power Tokens, so she'll be able to use one for a reroll. And we'll try and shut that gate. Now, that is <laughs> a pirate called it Reckless. And he's right. Yes. But how exciting. It's just going to be really exciting, man. So I'm going through there and trying to do it. So I'm going to do it. Because, one, I just like the idea of it. But, as I say, anybody watching who's looking for sensible tips, don't do what Catch is going to do. But we can go for it. I think we can risk it. We've got some other chances with other investigators. So what we'll do is she's got six movement. So she will come out of the Bank of Arkham downtown north side. 
and she will go to the train station as well where she'll hand off some of her money uh, I think she'll hand off $8 to Sister Mary and then she's still got three movement left and that will get her to the unnameable the gate isn't guarded she's going to relay and we're gonna try and do it so woohoo excitement dun, 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 dun. so she is gonna do that uh, next up is Carolyn Fern now what Carolyn's gonna do is she's gonna come out at the unvisited aisle now a pirate did mention that she could actually keep hold of the elder sign and try and shut it with clues and that'd be daring and it will so we're going to do that as well so not only are we going to do what a catch is doing we are going to try and get carolyn in there and we're going to get try and get carolyn to shut the gate without the elder sign and keep that in reserve now she's got one extra clue so it will be tricky first things first is we will put a law up to five yeah to try and do it and oh and it is contingent on one other thing the one other thing it's contingent on is we keep her blessing but we'll roll for that in a second so we'll move this up to a law up to five anyway she's coming out of the gate so she doesn't need high luck and she'll bob out and then she will try and shut it with clues now it's a minus two gate so which will be minus three she's got a law of five so she'll only have two dice but they'll be blessed dice and we'll be able to re-roll one clue one clue for a re-roll now maybe that we fail if we fail i'm not going to spend all the rest of the clues we're just going to have one re-roll then We'll just leave it till next turn and she will use the elder sign next turn that means she'll have to dodge the good old crawling one but upkeep turn uh, upkeep phase next turn we can actually move a sneak up to three yeah so she'll have the dark cloak and a sneak of three she won't be moving anywhere because she'd still be trying to close the gate so i think again we can go for it here so we're really really going for it this turn let's see if she stays blessed she doesn't stay blessed i'll sack this and um i'm not uh, i'm crazy but i'm not completely hat stand so if she doesn't remain blessed then i'll go with the elder sign this turn she does remain blessed so that's fine we're gonna go for it brilliant stuff so there we go a catch is going in relay on my crazy harebrained scheme and Carolyn is going to try and shut the gate without the elder sign in a pirate's slightly less harebrained scheme let's do it okay our last player will be Trish Scarborough and here's Trish just something I forgot to mention the reason why I'm not using the elder sign is it is sort of what's the word it's insurance for a catchy because if a catchy doesn't manage it which is quite possible then we've still got an elder sign to shut another gate so we can use the other el this elder sign to shut say the woods gate so it's just um it's just a way of covering off a catchy's craziness a little bit by being even more crazy but trish we're here for trish so let's move our sliders to the left Due to her focus shenanigans that she has to do every turn so now she's coming out this turn and she is trying to shut a gate now she'll be using the gate box so let's have a read when you return to Arkham from another world you can return to any location with an open gate not just those leading to the other world you were in so she's going to come out of the witch house as we've already discussed so she'll come out to the witch house she has got flesh ward so that'll come in for fighting the monsters as well but she wants to fight the monsters this turn because it's her first turn coming out of the gate she's going to go to the witch house now in order to shut the witch house she's going to use fight yep yeah. just because that will give her i mean she could use law as well because she gets plus one off thomas f malone for law she also gets plus one fight 
off Thomas F. Malone, and we've got the sledgehammer that is plus one for fight checks. So it doesn't matter whether we use fight or law, really. They'd both be six. It's Again, it's a minus two gate, so that'll be minus three, so she'll have three dice, which will hopefully be blessed. And But we have still got Sister Mary's re-roll, so, because we haven't failed a bless roll yet. Well, not this turn. So, hopefully, we will be able to shut that. So, we've moved one, two, three. We've got another couple of movement. So, let's shove the law and will up one, two. We'll leave a speed and look where it is because she'll be shutting again. She's not having an encounter. Right, so that is it for her. And that is it for the upkeep phase. Let's start Crazy Turn. And here's Sister Mary. She's going to go one, two, up to the train station. After her, it's Akachi. So Akachi is going to go on her long run round. One, two, three, to the train station. And she's going to hand over eight dollars he's gonna put it in sister mary's collection plate so there we go now she could put all ten in but i think it's a bit gamey you know say she failed next turn with her bank loan it is a bit gamey just turning around to the bank and saying no oh, i've got nothing so we'll leave her with two dollars so should she fail next turn though quite how she pays it off from another world i don't i don't know but um, we'll leave her the wherewithal to actually pay a couple of rounds of the bank loan off before she actually defaults on it. Right, so she's done three movement to trade and she's still got three left, so she's going to go one, two, three, and she's going in the unnameable. No going back now. <laughs> After a catchy, it is Carolyn Fern. And here's Carolyn, and Carolyn is going all the way back to the unvisited aisle so there she is with Mr Crawling one and she is back there after her it is Trish Scarborough slight change of, cam of uh, camera angle for Trish she's coming from the dreamlands and she is going to the witch house which is just chock full of monsters and gates and everything like a proper witch house should be so that is it for the movement phase. Next up, it's the Arkham Encounter phase. And here we are with Sister Mary. Just before we get on with that, we've got the Along Came Jones environment card. First investigator ends their movement in the train station, draws one ally, then discards the card from play. So we'll get rid of this. And allies, where do we keep the allies? Where have I put them? They're up here. We've not got so many left now. We've got three. <laughs> got three allies left, so I don't know who we I don't know who was left. Can't remember. But right, let's just pick the one off the bottom. Hey, it's Duke. So sorry Mark. We didn't get Ruby Standish. We got Duke. Plus one maximum sanity. So discard to immediately restore your sanity to its maximum. So there you go. What are the two we've got left? Oh, we have got Ruby left. Uh, well remembered, Mark. And we have Corinna Jones. So those are the only two that are left. So at the train station, there's an abandoned dog called Duke. And he has joined Sister Mary. Excellent. Good old Duke. We like Duke. And... Right, we've still got to have the encounter at the train station. In fact, I should have done that right at the end of the movement phase, but we've done it before we've started her encounter. So let's see what happens at the train station. You see a familiar face about to get on a train leaving Arkham. Draw an ally card. <laughs> Then make a will minus two check. All right, that's going to be that's going to be tricky. Right, hang on. So we've got to draw an ally card. So there's only two left. We could get Ruby yet, or we could get Corinna. 
This is silly. Bloody hell, two cards shuffling. I'm not even very good at that. Right, we'll pick the total on this time. And we do get Ruby. So there you go, Mark. And we draw one unique item when Ruby joins us. Right, put our, put Corinna back. And we get one unique item. We'll make sure we give these a good shuffle. I'm almost hoping that we don't get an Elder Sign now. The reason is, is I really want to see if Akachi can do her, like, um, suicide mission. But let's see what we get. We get a warding statue. We're going to focus. Any phase, discard warding statue after failing a combat check to reduce the monster's combat damage to zero stamina. This can also be used to cancel an Ancient One's entire attack for one turn. Very nice. So she's got a warding statue. Quite thematic item for Sister Mary to get. Very good. Right, so she's got that. She's got Ruby Standish, but we've got to do a will minus two to try and get two successes. In fact, I haven't read on, but it may be that we lose the ally, so I'll put the warding statue there as well, just in case we do lose the ally. So it was a will minus two, a will's four, a will's four, minus two, leaves two. Has she got any other pluses? No. So we've got two blessed dice. Come on. <laughs> and she failed both of them. So I'm not going to use, she has got two clues, but I'm not going to use them. If we end up losing the ally, we end up lo losing the ally. Let's have a look. So we failed that. If you pass, you've convinced your friend to stay and may take the ally card. If you fail, the ally card is returned to the box. So poor old Ruby, she's not convinced. She thinks, no, got no chance. You're doomed. So she's taking a warding statue and herself so yeah i think we had to choose the warding statue so this will get discarded i think rather than go back into the pile and ruby gets discarded now oh hang on does that mean the terror level goes up let's just read it again it just says return to the box No, I don't think the terror level goes up. Terror level goes up and ally leaves. I don't think it works the other way. So I think we're fine. I don't think we have to put the terror level up. Right, so unfortunate. Sorry, Mark, we didn't get Ruby. Right, but we did get Duke. And Duke's nice. So that, that, that'll be fine. Right, so that's it for Sister Mary. Next up is Akachi. And here's a catcher, and a catcher is going to relay. So she's going right up at the top of the board there. Good stuff. After a catcher, it's Carolyn Fern. Ooh, this is a biggie. Right, let's get to the unvisited aisle. So here's Carolyn. Right, let's knee it up a bit. Ugh, there you go. Okay, minus two gate. She's at five law. So she'll get two dice. Two blessed dice, and we'll pick a, <laughs> we'll pick some different ones, and that one or a two, and she is going to try and close this gate, but not with the elder sign. <laughs> Hold on, two threes, no. So she's not going to do it. We're not even going to spend a clue because we need two successes. So, bit of a dangerous plan. But never mind, it was quite exciting having a go. As I say, it's not the end of the world because, oh, I'll tell you what I didn't do. Oh, it's not the end of the world because she has explored the gate and she can always stay here next turn. As I say, we'll put a sneak up. She's got the dark cloak. She will just try and sneak past the crawling one. And then we will use the Elder Sign next turn just to guarantee that we shut the gate. It was just worth it. Just a chance 
that we could get away with a sealed gate and an elder sign which we could use to back up a catchy but it looks like a catchy's on her own dun, 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 dun. right oh so next up we have trish scarborough and here's trish let's hope the rolling improves it's been um <laughs> it's been pretty appalling um rolled four less dice and you haven't got one success yet that's rubbish right here's trish now another minus two gate Trish has got six fight, so take two, sorry, take three off, and and she will have three dice. I did do it with, I did do Carolyn right, didn't I? Minus two gate that went to minus three, she had five, yeah, I rolled two dice, yep, that was fine. Okay, so we've got three blessed dice this time, and we do have a couple of, we do have a clue as well. So come on Trish a four so we do get one success god I'm rolling rubbish let's get another die and she's obviously going to spend a clue to try and get the second success yes get in so she's done it woo so we'll get rid of that and we get the other five clues. They go back in the supply. But this is going back. And that's even worked in our favour. Because the crawling one that was at the unvisited aisle, that's a circle. So he goes back in the bag. We get a monster stand back. This is an infinity gate. So, Carol, um, not Caroline, Trish cannot take it as a trophy. It just goes to the bottom of the pile. So, there we go. Back in the gate stack. Get rid of that. But we do get a blue seal of funkiness. Excellent. I'll just put those there. Carol in there, uh, sorry, Trish there in triumph with her two successful dice. Woo! -hoo. Right, so we've sealed that. Get those out of the way. And that is it, isn't it? There's nothing else to do. No, there isn't. We didn't use an elder sign, so we're not taking any doom tokens off or anything. So that is our fourth seal, is it? One, two, three, four. Woo! So brilliant. So that is her done. She doesn't have to do anything with these because she was just coming out of the gate. That was the first time out of the gate. So that was good because it'd have been a bit bad if we hadn't managed after uh, taking that chance with, um, what was it, with Carolyn. If we hadn't managed to seal any gates whatsoever, I would have had a lot of people going, ah, idiot. So <laughs> it's your own fault for being a moron. But that's fine. As I say, I'm very comfortable. We've got at least one gate sealed this turn. And with that crawling one going, Carolyn, she's guaranteed to seal the unvisited aisle next turn because she does have the elder sign. We could have done it this turn. But as I say, I was being greedy. So nearly, nearly came off. If it had done, we would have had a, an elder sign for Carolyn to go down to uh, the woods and to try and shut the woods gate. So, never mind. Right, so that is it. She has gone. Trish, Trish was our last player. So, next up is the Otherworld Encounter phase. Akachi, she's in relay. And here's Akachi, so let's put that in can we see it yes we can and we need the gate deck and for a relay it is a red or a yellow so first card is a blue that's no good second card is a yellow lost car Cosa, no good your goth no good so it's other a powerful force is attempting to tear its way through the realities make a law plus not but we've got to make two successes her law is five she is not blessed. So one, two, three, four, five. 
and we need two successes. So you don't have any clues either. I've, I've shook a die out of the uh, out of the cup. A six and a five. She's a beast. She's done it. Let's have a look. To slow it down. If you pass, remove one Dunwich horror token from the board. Oh, I thought we were going to get something really funky. But um, <laughs> we've got no Dunwich horror tokens on the board. Unfortunately, um, well, fortunately, we've had no monsters go into vortexes yet. So, oh, well, there you go. Nothing bad happened, and that's good in this game. Oh, that was a good roll. Good roll. Well done, Akachi. Keep that going. Okay, so that is the end of the other world in Captain's phase. Next up, there's nobody else in other world, is there? No, next up, the laugh and chuckle phase. And here we are, back at Arkham. Let's move that out of the way. Move the dice tower out of the way. Get rid of him. Put that out there. That out there. Right, so we need this. We need our old friend, the Reckoning Deck. Always a joy. And let's pick the card. See what we get. At least it isn't a gate burst. Independent Square. This is why it was a pain. You know that, um, what was it? When we got that moving gate. If we hadn't got that moving gate, we might have, um, we'd have, like, probably sealed that independent square gate. I think it was Carolyn that went into it and closed it, but she did have the clue. She could have tried to shut it, but moving gate went into the downtown streets, as I recall. But we get an extra doom token. We're on nine. It's going down to the wire. We've got a gate, and we need a gate stand. Gate stand on Independent Square. Where's the gate going? It's a stamina gate. Plow of Leng. It's only a minus one. So if a catchy doesn't make it, we just send somebody into the Plow of Leng. Diamonds. Yeah. So it'll be a minus two gate with, um, what is it? The Herald. That's not too bad. And we need a monster. Because we do, we do have a spare monster stand now. Because we got rid of the crawling one. And the monster is... Oh, a bikey. These aren't too bad, I don't think. No. No, they're alright. About time I picked an easy monster out. So, it could end up in the sky anyway as well. So, that's not a bad, that's not a bad draw. So, we've got a bikey at Independence Square. So, we can get rid of that. And we get a clue at the unnameable, except we don't because we've got a gate at the unnameable. We've got circular movement, might have guessed. So <laughs> the buyer key goes straight to the sky. Um, we've got no other circles because we got rid of the crawling one when we sealed the gate. Oh, here we go. Square, bloody square monster movement and diamond. Just check we've got no diamonds. I don't think we have. I know we've got a square though. Yeah, the square that we've got. Colour out of space. So this is exactly why we need to kill it quickly. So instead of moving, roll a die on a four or a six. All investigators in Arkham lose one sanity. Right, so we've got a roll. Put it down here, can we see that? Yes, we can. Right. Go on, a low number for a change. <laughs> you don't get lower than a one. Brilliant. Right, so that's that's worked out. We haven't lost any sanity. So we can put that back up here with Trish. So that is monster movement. Campus security increased headline. All monsters in the Miskatonic University streets or locations are look, returned to the cup. Well, there are none. So we've had a couple of those and haven't benefited, but never mind. So that is it for that. 
not a bad mythos at all. We've got away with it, but once again, we get this. So there's still a chance that even though I catch it, it has gone into the, what is it? The relay gate, we could still have some problems. As could System Area, because System Area has also got a dark pact. Let's see what we get. The voices beckon. Each investigator may choose to immediately gain one or more dark pacts. Then, if there is at least one investigator who does not have a dark pact, each investigator who does have a dark pact reduces his maximum sanity by one. So, if we don't all have a dark pact, the ones that do lose their, their maximum stamina goes down. Ah, oh, damn. You know what, I'd have done, if we hadn't lost Ruby Standish, I'd have took two more bound allies. Hmm. Let's have a think. Let's have a think. Because that would mean a catch it goes down to six. Oh, I wanted it to get six of those. Ooh. Ooh. God, hang on, I'm going to have to have a think. Okay, it's near the end of the game. What I'm going to do is both Carolyn and D Trish are going to take a dart pact each. Let's go for it. What are we going to do? Well, one is going to take a bound ally. Carolyn is going to take a bound ally. And there's only one left. And that is Corinna Jones. So we'll draw a skill and we'll have the bound ally. That is for Carolyn. So let's just get the skill that she'll get as well as the plus one focus. So she gets plus one law. That'll be useful. So she's got plus one law. Corinna Jones and she's got a bound ally and Trish is going to take a blood pact. The reason I picked blood pact is I don't want too many um, soul packs knocking around so I want to have different packs just to mitigate anything that may happen. Also I think a couple, was it last turn or the turn before we got a card that said anybody with a blood pact you know, could be devoured, I think it was. Reduce their maximum stamina or something like that. Which I read wrong. It was maximum stamina, not stamina less than two. But, so we've had a couple of bad blood pack ones go already. So, and like I say, I don't want everybody to have the same sort of pact. Because if we get a bad soul pack one, then it's going to affect like two or three investigators. Don't want that. So she's going to take a blood pact. As part of that... Uh, stamina will go back up to four. So we'll put stamina back up to four. It was on three. Right, so that is her and Carolyn. And that means nobody loses any sanity, I don't think. So I'll read it again. Each investigator may choose to immediately gain one or more dark packs. Then, if there is at least one investigator who does not have a dark pact, well, everybody has one now. Each investigator who does have a dark pact reduces maximum sanity by one. But everybody's got one. We've fulfilled it. So there we go. Oh, it's going to the wire. Everyone's got a dark pact. Exciting! Exciting! So I'll put that away. Well, was on Carolyn's player tray. Right, there we go. So that is the end of turn 12, and it is getting exciting. Everyone's got a dark pact. Akachi's going on a crazy mission. Um, we did manage to seal one gate, failed on another, but it was a calculated gamble, and we've got away with it because the monster that was there ended up being discarded because of the sealed gate. So Carolyn can definitely definitely shut that gate next turn and she will use the elder sign we'll have to look for a backup for a catchy somewhere else and that is going to be system area because system area is going to go to the curiosity shop with that eight dollars and she is going to try and 
you know grab some stuff for us other than that Carolyn because she will be using the elder sign she's still got a load of clues so she is going to head up towards Independence Square because it's unguarded Woohoo! because the bikey went into the sky so we will get another investigator with clues in another world and hopefully they will be able to shut a gate so it's going to go down to the wire we'll be hoping that we don't get a uh, lurker card a lurker reckoning card that uh, will put a spanner in the works we're hoping we in the next couple of turns that we won't get a gate burst on a sealed gate and we will see if Akachi will succeed on her craziness mission Trish is also in a spot of bother at the witch house but we've already decided she is going to take the colour out of space on and the skeleton on so she is going to try and kill them next turn so she could try and avoid them but let's just try and kill them why not I can't see she's got no clues whatsoever so she may as well become a monster killer it will be down to Carolyn and Akachi to see if we can um, shut and seal those final two gates I think okay oh one other thing that I nearly forgot the unraveling tapestry rumor is down to one single clue now so we'll have to cast a spell next turn I think just to uh, make sure that that doesn't go off because I think we lose sanity if that goes off let's just check when there are no clue tokens on this rumor return to the box and each investigator loses two sanity we have to cast a spell next turn and we lost a load of spells didn't we in fact we've got one spell and that is flesh ward oh so <laughs> So, oh dear, yes, we are going to have to cast Flesh Ward somehow, I think. Let's just have a look. Can it be used on other investigators? No, it's to herself. Well, at least she's the one doing the fighting. It is Trish Scarborough's spell. So, if she does get hit, she will be able to cast this. So, um, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is getting exciting because if that rumour, if that rumour goes off, they lose two sanity and that means a catch you won't be able to shut that gate. But that is all part of the gamble that we're taking. That's it, why it's such an exciting game. Okay, so that's it for turn 12 and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all the subscriptions. Thanks so much for all the... Uh, advice and tips i'm sorry that occasionally i do stuff like i've done this turn but like i say it's a bit of fun isn't it we're having a bit of a laugh so i hope you're enjoying it anyway it, i do think it has made it a little bit more exciting but as i said right at the beginning this is not optimal play this is just me for the sake of story and the fact that i think it'd make a really good hollywood style ending i've just gone for it man so um we'll see how we go on but by all means please do give hints and tips and i do i do 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 consider them and stuff i just occasionally i do stuff like this and i do apologize if it annoys you in any way but i think it is rather like funky okay so um yeah i hope you will join me next turn because it is getting rather close we've got um nine on the doom track we've only got three to go as i say that rumor might go off we've got a catch in another world We've got a possibility of Trish, she's facing off with two monsters and there's all sorts of stuff going on. Can, uh, can Sister Mary get an, get an elder sign out of the curiosity shop? We shall see. So I hope you join me next time for turn 13. Oh my God, I'm lucky for some 13 turn next turn. Dun, dun, dun. But until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.